Mail call. First impressions. A week ago, I got an email from Timeless Razor that they had just released their new aluminum slant. Made a 6061 T6 aerospace aluminum. If you follow my content, you know that I love slant razors. I have quite a few of them, 20 or 30. So inside the box, I had my receipt on top. This is my second timeless razor. I have the tuxedo with the medium aggressive plate. This one is stainless steel. I like this razor. I'm just not in love with it. And I'm hoping that for $54, this one, I will feel like I'm getting my money's worth. The most I've ever spent on a modern razor is the console. And that was $350. This one sells for like $255 now. Back years ago when I first bought it, I think it was like $200. It might have been $255. I don't recall what I paid for it. It was a lot. And I feel like while I like them and I love them, it's hard for me to tell people that you, you have to have one because at the end of the day, there's a lot of razors that shave just as well. Um, and I'm really hoping that for only $54, and that was shipped, $54 inside the box is a little card. Thank you for your purchase. It's already assembled. Um, this weighs 44.3 grams. Now, if you're not familiar with aluminum, it is very light. I have a handful of aluminum razors. Here's my four favorites. Three of them are made by PAA, these three here. And then this one is the Shadow from a Canadian company that is no longer in business, unfortunately. I enjoy all razors made out of all materials. I even have a couple of, you know, plastic or Bakelite ones that I really like. With aluminum, we have to be a little bit careful. I like this. The blade exposure is negative. I am going to throw a blade in it real quick. Let's see. How about a Wizomet? The blade gap is 0.86 millimeters. So 0 .8, 0 0.86 millimeters. The finish is a clear anodized. You can get a stand with it. I didn't buy the stand. The stand is $20. I have plenty of ways of displaying my the wax on these things. It's, it's not glue. I often hear people calling it glue. It's not glue. It is an adhesive. There's actually wax. It's food grade wax. Um, it's not it's not glue. It's wax. Now I like this. There is a small little grommet or o-ring that I just uncovered. Let's set this here real quick. I'll show you guys in case you don't know. I try not to take Try not to assume that everybody knows what I know. So, let me pull this blade back out. I'll show you guys the inner cap. And I did pay for this. Did I already say that? I purchased it. So we're going to set her down on the head. Here's the base plate. And I'll be putting photos right up here of everything. These are made in the States. On the bottom it says Timeless Razor. has their logo and says Slant 0.86. I'm loving the look of this razor. I'll use it for a couple of weeks. I at least want to use it a minimum of 10 times, and then I'll do a full review. On the bottom of the handle, we have the Timeless Razor logo. So for me, you know, it's it's like there's that the new Teddyless razor that's out there made out of stainless steel. There's no way in hell that thing is worth $1,000. I'm sorry, I don't care how much craftsmanship or whatever has gone into it. For me, a regular working class guy, you know, a lot of work went into this. I don't want to take anything away from Matt Pasarsic or any of these guys and the work that they do. But $1,000 for a stainless steel, not titanium, not gold, a stainless steel razor is not going to deliver a $1,000 shave. This does not deliver a $350 shave. This does not deliver a $250 shave. They all deliver $50 shaves like my Rockwell 6C. Now, that's just my subjective opinion. Your opinion may vary. But 
That's my opinion. So my first impressions of this, this is a beautiful little aluminum razor. And it's a slant, baby. Hell yeah, look at that. I can't wait to give this a go. Thanks for joining me. 54 bucks, you can't go wrong. I think that's a great price for a razor. Did I show you guys this? This is the Evolution. Um, this is on loan from Chris Williams. PAA Evolution. It's been discontinued, hasn't been made in a while. That thing is a monster. Now this is an Obtanium. Now I might pay a couple hundred dollars for that if I could get it from from uh, Chris, but that's just because I'm a schnerd. And that's one of the things too, like with the value and money, right? It's all value and whether or not something costs too much is all in the eye of the beholder because there's a lot of people out there that would tell you that we're insane for even spending $50 on one of these razors, right? Like I look at some of these women who are walking around with $10,000 handbags, purses. I'm just like, oh my God, are you kidding me? $10,000 for a purse or $500 for a purse? But you know, it's, it's all subjective. It's all relative to you and your needs. So far, I'm very happy with this purchase. I, of course, haven't shaved with it yet. But 54 bucks, I'm comfortable with saying, hey, you like the looks of this? 54 bucks really isn't a lot of money for us schnerds. It's the little big things, my friends. And again, like always, I don't ever want to create false FOMO. Um, and I'm always going to give it to you guys raw, real, and straight. And to hell with consequences. Some people aren't going to like it. Some people are going to like it. But at the end of the day... I got to look at myself in the mirror like I'm looking at myself right now on the camera. Actually, I'm looking at the little camera hole. How you doing? I'm looking at you, sugar. You guys take care. Have a great weekend. And thanks for joining me for my first impressions. Was it first impressions or was it just a rant of the slant razor from Timeless?